Do you want to have the best OBS settings? Then in this video, I'm going to be covering the best settings to make your recording look smooth, nice, not laggy, and optimized for your own computer. So let's get right into it. Before you skip this part of this video, if you've done all the settings and optimization that I'm about to tell you to do for your recording, and it still looks laggy, or the FPS doesn't look good, or something is not right, I want you to go ahead and right click OBS Studio and run it as administrator. You don't have to do it now, but if you've done everything and it's still something does not look right to you, go ahead and do this, it may fix the problem. Alright, so after you've opened up OBS Studio, I want you to go up to the left side of the screen and see what the number that it says here. Mine is version 28.0.1. If you have a lower number, that means you're using an older version of OBS and I want you to go ahead and update your OBS. If your number is higher, do not worry because all the settings that I'll be showing you in this video should still work perfectly fine. So the first thing that I want you to go to is go ahead, go down to the settings and if your OBS looks a bit different, it's because your theme is different. You can always change it to the theme that I have today or make it whatever one you want. After that, I want you to go ahead to go to video. Once you go to video, I want you to check your base canvas resolution. I want you to make sure that it's the resolution of your monitor. Now, how do you know what's the resolution of your monitor? What you need to go ahead and do is go to your desktop, right click and go to display settings and check down here in scale and layout display resolution and check what's the highest option available. Mine is 3840 by 2160. That basically means that my monitor resolution is 4K. Yours may be 1080p, that it's this one, or your may be 2K or whatever it is. Do not worry, just make sure afterwards you go back to OBS. And once you get back to the video tab, I want you to go ahead and make sure that your common FPS value is at 60. I do not want you to be recording in any less FPS than that. Afterwards, go ahead and go to output. Click output and make sure to go to output mode and make sure it's in advanced. If you're in simple, it's just going to look like this. It's not going to give you so much information. So go make sure that you click output mode and click advanced. After you've done that, go ahead and go to the recording tab. Keep the type in standard and go to the recording settings. Recording path is where all your videos are going to be saved. So make sure you're keeping it where you want your videos to be saved. Next up is recording format. Now I do think MKV is the best. Uh, that's my opinion though. You can be using MP4, MOV, whatever you think is the best and whatever is the most comfortable for you and your editing software. But I like using MKV and I'll keep on using MKV. Now your audio tracks is how many audio tracks you want to record. If you just want to record one audio track, record one. I record two because I use the desktop audio and my microphone audio. And sometimes I'll even use three audio tracks because I want to have the Discord, the game audio and the, my microphone audio separated. So that's one. Okay, so next up is your encoder. You want to be making sure that if you have a new GeForce RTX card, then you want to make sure that you'll be using the NVIDIA Invec H.264. It will give you the best performance and it will literally make you have no delay, no lag, no nothing. Now, if you don't have a new NVIDIA graphics card, you should go with a different option that's available for you. You won't be having all the options that I have here. You probably have different options. Uh, the X264 means that it's using your CPU. I'm pretty sure that everybody should has, have this option. It's probably the best and worst option at the same time because worst, if you have the NVIDIA, you should best literally just be using that one. And if you only have your CPU, and you should be using the X264 option, of course. And that's for the encoder. Okay, next for the encoder settings, you want to make sure that the rate control is CBR, not CQP and not any of the rest. You want to make sure that it's CBR that will work the best for you. And the next thing for the bit rate depends on your Wi-Fi. Now, if you have good Wi-Fi, then you want to basically put it like I have it at 60,000. Um, so make sure to just go ahead and just type 60,000 kbps. That will be making you have perfect quality. It will look great, just like it looks right now on my recording. Uh, if your Wi-Fi is not so good, or if you don't know even what's your Wi-Fi speed, then go ahead and go to fast.com and test your Wi-Fi speed and you'll know from there. If your Wi-Fi is not so great, you should be using 30,000 or 15,000 to 30,000 and that should set you just fine as well. The keyframe, leave it as it is. Now the preset. 
This is very important because you want to make sure that this really just depends on your computer. If you have a really high spec computer like I have here, then you want to make sure that you have it on quality. The reason that you don't want to have it on max quality, because max quality gives you no benefit in my eyes than quality. You'll see no difference. The only difference you'll see is less performance. And that's why I have less performance if it's the same quality anyway. So if you have a good spec computer, use quality. Now, if your computer is not such high spec or it's hard for it to record on such a high quality and play the game that you're playing, obviously this depends what game you're playing or what are you doing generally, then make sure to use performance or if it's really hard you could use max performance but if you're recording a game I would suggest you not use max performance, use performance and just lower the game settings, video settings so it will look um, worse for you the game but your recording will look much better because between max performance and performance is a big difference and you definitely don't want to go I don't, I don't, you, you shouldn't go to max performance, it's not that good. Okay, you want to leave this unchecked and you can leave this as it is. The GPU, now you want to make sure that you leave this at zero and the max B frames, leave this at two. Okay, now afterwards you want to go to the audio tab, leave the output and go to the audio tab and you want to make sure that your sample rate is 48 and that will make the audio sound great and lovely and uh, as it should be and make sure that the channels is on stereo you do not need it to be on 7.1 or any of the above stereo is like what I'm recording right now and that's what's gonna sound good because YouTube anyway uses only stereo afterwards you can go down to global audio devices and go down to desktop audio and make sure that it's set to the correct speakers or headphones that you're using to heal the gameplay so everybody will hear what you can hear and in the mic set it as the microphone that you want it to be Alright, so after you've done all of that, make sure to go hit apply and OK and that will save all the new changes and you can go ahead and start recording and see your new awesome and no lag and no FPS drops and smooth recording. Now if you're still having some issues, make sure to go ahead, go back in the video where I showed you how you can run your OBS as administrator and if that still didn't help and your recording is still laggy or you still have some FPS drops, well that means that you have to lower a little bit the quality of the re recording or the game that you're playing, lower the video settings and that should fix your issue. I hope this video helped, so make sure to subscribe and like. And also, if you're new to this channel, I actually upload a lot of cool gaming videos that you should go check out.